In terms of the current uh, valuation, it seems to me that Warren Buffett, uh, Joe Greenblatt, and also Howard Mudd, they both, I think all of them said that it's reasonable right now. And only, uh, the only one I know that is kind of bearish in the long term is like, uh, is, uh, 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 is Klaman, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so like, uh, can you reconcile with them? Because like, if Warren Buffett and Joe Greenblatt uh, both uh, said that it's reasonable, then it's hard for me to think that it's expensive. You know. Well, um, if you use Buffett's own favorite valuation metric, which is market cap to GNP, um, stocks are very expensive. Uh, you also always have to ask why people have the opinion they do. If you're a money manager and have all your money invested long stocks in the US, you, are you going to say they're expensive? Probably not. Um, so it, it's challenging. You know, and, and my, going back to the intro of the speech, I think you should ignore all of them, right? Everyone's going to have an opinion. Just like you know, a, a guy or girl walks by, 10 people are going to have different opinions, say, well, you know, that I like him, I don't like him, he's, he's attractive, he's not, whatever it may be. But that's what makes a market, right? There's someone who's bullish on US stocks in 1999 the same as someone was bearish. So um, that's why it's important to me to have an objective measure. I don't care what it is. You can use price sales, price book, price cash flow, GDP, enterprise, EBITDA. By the way, all, the, all of those say US stocks are expensive. There's not one that doesn't. Um, but you have to have an objective metric. Otherwise, you're just um, what we have found in the literature, and this applies to almost every field, is experts are horrific at forecasting including our, our, you know, our US government, the Federal Reserve, right? They're horrific at forecasting the future. But if you have an objective metric and say, all right, stocks very well could go up 50% from here, but all that's doing is mortgaging the future. So it's unexciting to say, I think stocks are gonna do 4% a year. That's not terrible, it's better than 2.5% bond, but is it worth taking the risk? I would much rather invest in, in the really cheap stuff, which most of which happens to be in, in Europe right now. So as I said on Twitter, cheer for the U.S. on Sunday, but buy Portuguese stocks. <laughs>